Hey guys, I'm Cody, the Divine Past Life Pro. I'd like to show you how to adjust shadow brightness in the SUS V10.2 Preview 1 Ultra. For those that have been waiting to know this, here's your answer. Alright, let's get started. First, have the sea shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Access the folder, access the shaders folder, and locate composite.fsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 2414. Of course, if the line's different for you, then it's best to instead search the code itself to get to where I'm at. Keep your eyes fixed on the first number. The second one doesn't seem to have much use for what we'll be doing, so we'll be sticking to the first one. For those wanting to darken the shadows, you'd be expected to add in a lower number, and of course, the opposite for brighter numbers. In terms of my setup, I will be sticking to the current shadow brightness because I'm already used to it. For those wanting to see a range of different numbers in place, don't worry, I got this. Just stay tuned for this comparison. And yes, don't forget to save when you're done. Alright, my friends, if you have any questions, then leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll get back to you. With that, I'll leave you with today's Cinematic Showcase. To watch the full original video with audio, the link will be in the description. For all those cinematic artists out there, if you would like to have your cinematic showcased on this channel, then simply send your cinematic to me via my Twitter, at CMime5015, or my Facebook, which is simply Past Life Pro. If this Seuss tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit the like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys.